I want to talk to you about how to identify fake Muslims on the internet, on YouTube especially, because that's where I am. I've learned a little thing or two about identifying fake Muslims. First off, typically in the comment section where you have someone post and it looks like you have a, a crazy Muslim on your hands, when in fact what you have is someone pretending to be a Muslim. It doesn't happen that often. But here are the tips if you're wondering whether you've got a real Muslim on your hands or a fake Muslim, someone who's trying to make Islam look bad. Okay, first off, real angry Muslims typically mention things about IDF, Israel, and APAC. Fake Muslims typically don't know what IDF and APAC are. Fake Muslims, they talk, this is what a fake Muslim, someone pretending to be a Muslim, trying to make Muslims look bad. This is topics that a fake Muslim will, uh, um, will post about. They'll talk about how happy they are that they have multiple wives. They'll boast about having a child bride. A Muslim would never do that. Um, they, would boast, they would boast about how Muhammad had a child bride. Um, and how cool it was, and they'll, they'll boast about how cool polygamy is, and they'll make comments about chopping people's heads off, and about how much they enjoy oppressing women, and they'll give you Quran quotes that are very violent and out of context. They try to make themselves look crazy, and it's clear. They, they come off as irrational because they need to look irrational because they're trying to make Muslims look irrational. They use very generic phrases like the Middle East, Whereas a real Muslim will talk about places like Gaza and these other places. Um, they'll use the word infidel. Typically, I've never even heard a Muslim use the word infidel. And they typically won't use, even use the word kafir. <clears throat> a non-Muslim pretending to be a Muslim will use the word kafir sometimes if he's a little studied. Typically, they're not studied. But I've never been called a kafir by a Muslim. I've had a Muslim who didn't like me referred to me as a kafir to another Muslim, but uh, never called me one. So I've only been called kafir and infidel by people pretending to be Muslims. Isn't that funny? Um, <clears throat> fake Muslims will talk about raping your women, and they'll boast about the 72 virgins. I've never had a Muslim ever talk to me or boast about 72 virgins. Because it's not proper. We go to a, a real Muslim who's angry, You'll hear things almost always about Israel, right? APAC, IDF. You'll have Quran quotes quite often with an angry Muslim, but they'll be in context. And they'll actually have some relevance to them. Maybe not a lot, but you can see that they're trying to make themselves look right. Whereas a fake Muslim is trying to make himself look wrong. Big difference. The real Muslim is trying to justify himself and make himself look sane. The fake Muslim is trying to make himself look crazy and make all Muslims look bad. I had one time, only one time did I have a real live, dangerous, scary Muslim on my channel. I've been doing this for three years. <clears throat> when this guy came through, I knew he was the real deal. Um, I, think he, I think he has since been killed by a drone, seriously. Um, and he didn't say any of the stuff that you would think, like a, a hate bait guy would say, someone pretending to be Muslim. All the stuff he said was just scary. It was a very angry, dark person. And he happened to be a Muslim, and uh, um, very a matter of fact, and he didn't hang around, and, uh, um, and I'm glad. Um, another thing about fake Muslims, fake Muslims don't put on a, a long show. They say a couple little stuff, and if you actually go to a fake Muslim's channel, either he's just a troll, and it's just a matter of time before you go back to his channel and his channel's gone, or he has... Videos there. So if you're if you're really torn whether or not you're dealing with a Muslim or a fake Muslim, go to their channel. If you go to a real Muslim's channel, you'll see like their lead video is going to be something flattering about Islam, be something beautiful, music and Quran quotes, and they'll have Muslim friends. There'll be Muslim quotes on there. They'll have favorite videos that are like uh, George Galloway and Norm Finkelstein and stuff about Palestine. And then there'll be like a Tupac Shakur or Chris Rock. You know, I don't, a lot of Muslims seem to like Tupac and Chris Rock. It's kind of funny. If I'm really curious and I'm, and I'm concerned I th and I don't know whether or not I've got a Muslim on my hands or not who's acting angry, if you go to their channel, you, you see who their friends are, you click on their friend sites, you watch their dialogues. If you really want to know who they are, take their username,
put it in quotes and search it on Google. Then you can find for, throughout internet history where they've commented and what they've said. And you'll see contradictory things and you know who you've got. With a little investigation, if you want to take the time, you can find a fake Muslim. But there's very few fake Muslims. Um, if there ever was someone pretending to be a Muslim and he was able to put up a site and do all this stuff and make himself truly look like a Muslim and dedicate the time to making Muslim friends and all that, I'm fine with that. Who cares if he's fake? If he's willing to put on that kind of show, he's my friend. I mean, we're, you know, I've no, no, I've no, I've no problem with a fake Muslim that's going to spend that much time. And why would a guy do that? That'd be a little crazy. So anyway, um, there aren't many fake Muslims out there, and the ones that are out there are just typically very uneducated. They say very sort of over the top crazy stuff. And when you go to their site, it's clear when you go to their channel that they aren't Muslims. Um, let me know what you think.